I got done with my skate race and I was kind of bummed because I knew I didn't do as well as I wanted to. So went home, took a shower, ate some food, and you know, I was just hanging out with my parents and then started doing the math a little bit on my own and was like, oh, I think I'm a little higher than I <laughs> was going to be. And then next thing you know, I get a call from AJ and Joe and they're like, you better get here. And I'm like, what? Because <laughs> they were about to announce it. So I showed up and they're like, your first alternate, you're most likely going. Some other girls decided not to. So at that point, it was kind of just all unreal and still kind of feels unreal to me planning everything. But once they started handing me the uniform and the jackets and the headbands and you know the buffs and everything I was just sort of like this is really happening <laughs> so signing all the paperwork and everything it was really neat experience and I'm really glad I was able to experience it with my parents too because they were here the entire week seeing every race. My goal is going into US Nationals was to qualify for Junior Worlds which I thankfully succeeded in after a few mishaps in the, the last two races that counted I did get a, I got a hot start in the first one with a third junior um, in the skate 15k, uh, which was a great feeling. And then throughout U.S. Nationals, it, the snow was blowing, and it was it was a little rough with that. But dressed properly and stayed warm and, and did well. A really great feeling having U.S. Nationals here in Houghton, because all fall we trained on the trails, and then throughout the winter what, we got early snow before Thanksgiving, so you could learn like the trail system with the the grooming. And then it was just kind of figuring out how the course went and seeing where you can like make moves and get time and then just the trails in general, they're fist homologated and they're probably, in my opinion, the best best trails in the, the U.S. for skiing because you can go like 23K, two hours or so and not have to loop around the circle yet. Uh, it was really cool since we know the course so well and we've practiced the sprint courses and the distance courses over and over and I've been racing here for five years now. So it was really neat to be able to do that and show off kind of our home course. And it was also really nice not to travel so far to a different part of the country for a race like this. So it was really nice just to be home. Uh, I had a really big summer of training living out in Sun Valley. Uh, I was interning at, with a ski program out there coaching. So it was a really cool to be able to see kind of how a different program works and then also just every weekend to be able to hike a mountain or <laughs> go for a really long run or something. A little different training than I'm used to during the summer when I've gone home. Me and Tom will be flying out on the 26th of January and we'll get there on the 28th. I think that's kind of how that works. It's about a 20 hour flight, 11 hours difference between here and Kazakhstan. So, um, And then I'm pretty sure we get that whole rest of the week to train and rest and you know get used to the schedule and the time change and then we start racing at the beginning of that next week and then we'll be flying back into the country on the 9th of February. I'm at the World Championships in Kazakhstan. What I'll be doing is most likely a freestyle interval start 10k in the skate technique followed by a ski athlon which is first 10k in the classic technique then 10k in the skate technique. Um, and at the end of the week there's a 4x5k relay for the junior men and hopefully I'll make the, the relay team which is based off your week's results. I know getting out there they'll fill me in more but I'm most likely will be doing the classic sprint and then they'll decide uh, and tell me which other race I'll be doing. There'll be six junior men and then five U23 men on the team and then that's replicated on the women's side too. Unbelievable. Dream come true. I never never thought I'd be able to do something like this or say that I've raced for Team USA so it was something you always kind of dream about but you never really think it's going to happen so it's really incredible. I'm stoked that I get to go to Kazakhstan with Deidre and you know rep tech and the US.